Okay. One of the biggest issues, one of the biggest problems people have is dealing with fractions. So let's start with adding and subtracting fractions, show you how you do that. Okay. Let's start uh, small. Let's go 2 over 5 plus 3 over 4. Now the way you do this is, you take the biggest number in the bottom, you try to find a common denominator, the lowest common denominator between them. So whenever you have any fractions being added up, you take the biggest number in the bottom, which is 5, okay, and you see if the other number goes into it. Now 4 doesn't go into 5, so multiply 5 by 2, you're going to get 10. Does 4 go into 10? It doesn't go into 10. So you've got to continue with this. 5 times 3 is 15. Does 4 go into 15? No. So go to the next one. 5 times 4 is 20. Now obviously five, 4 goes into 20. So your common denominator here is 20. Now what did you multiply 5 by to give you 20? You multiply 5 by 4. So you multiply the top by the same number that you multiplied this guy. So 2 times 4 is 8. What did you multiply 4 by to give you 20? Well, you multiply 4 by 5, so you multiply top by the same number, times 5. 5 times 3 is 15, so plus 15. 18 plus 15 is 23. 8. Over 20. That's how you add fractions, okay? Now what we're going to do is do a bigger number, uh, and I'm going to add subtraction in there, so you see that it doesn't really make a difference, okay? Let's move on to another section of walk. Let's say we have 7 over 5 minus 3 over 4 plus 4 over, well, let's make it 5 again, and plus 7 over 12, okay? So right now you got the biggest number you have is 12. So you're going to try to find the biggest or the smallest number that 5, 4, and 5 go into. So you're going to take 12. Obviously, 5 doesn't go into 12, okay? So you're going to multiply 12 by 2. You're going to get 24. Now, does 5 go into 24? No. 4 goes into it, but 5 doesn't, so you've got to continue. 12 times 3 is 36. 4 goes into it, but 5 doesn't, so you continue. 12 times 4 is 8, 4, 48, obviously 4 goes into it, but 5 doesn't, so one more, 12 times 5 is, 5 times 2 is 10, you carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, now 4 goes into 60, 5 goes into 60, and 12 goes into 60, so your common denominator is 60. Now. What did you multiply 5 by to give you 60? You multiplied it by 12. So you multiply 7 by 12. Okay? Let's do this by hand. 7 times 12, 2 times 7 is 14. 1, 7, 8. 84. Then you got minus. What did you multiply 4 by to give you 60? Well, I'm not sure. So let's do a division. 4 goes up to 6 once, that's 4, bring the 2 down, bring the 0 down, 4 goes up to 25 times. So you multiply 4 by 15. So what you got to multiply 3 by is 15. 3 times 15 is 45, so it's minus 45. So right now we've got 84 minus 45. We multiply 5 by 12, so 12 times 4, well, we already did it over here, it's 48. So what it's going to be, it's going to be plus 48. And we've got 12 here. Well, we multiply 12 by 5 to give us 60. Okay? So we multiply 7 by 5 as well. 7 times 5 is 35. Now what you've got to do is, do all these things down here. Now, we've got negative 45 plus 48. If you combine these guys, you're going to have 3 left over. 3 plus 35 is 38. So this plus this gives you 38. And it's positive. 
So all you got to do now is add 84 plus 38. Let's do this up here. 84 plus 38. 8 plus 4 is 12. You carry the 1 up. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So all of this turns out to be 122 over 60. Now what you have to do is you cannot leave it like that. You have to break that down into its lowest form. Now they're both even, so you know two goes into these, okay? So 60, if you break this down, it becomes two times 30, right? If you break down 122, two goes into 12, six times, two goes into one, uh, two goes into two, once. So two times 61 is 122. So what we got here is two times 61, and we've got two times 30 in the bottom. Two times 30. So what happens is, anything from the top can cancel out anything from the bottom. So two kills two. So your final answer is 61 over 30. Okay? So what we had here was, all these fractions, you find the lowest common denominator is 60, whatever you multiply the bottom by to give you 60, you multiply the top by, you do the operations, addition, subtraction, you get to this number here, and then from here, you gotta reduce it to its lowest form, which is breaking it down to its prime numbers. You cancel whatever you need to cancel, and that's your final answer, simple as that. But it includes breaking numbers down to their prime numbers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, Okay? Try it out. I'm going to have the exercises on my on this on the website for you to do